Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here with another Easy Bass tutorial, this time looking at the convert audio to MIDI function. I'm going to be using uh, a guitar as a source to record a bass line, because sometimes if you're a guitar player it's easier to maybe hammer out some bass lines on the guitar than it is to do it on the bass itself. So first off I'll just talk you through the what I've done here. I've got the Easy Bass plugin on this channel here. One thing to bear in mind is you need to also download and install this additional plugin from ToonTrack, which is free, and it is the ToonTrack Audio Sender. So I put that on the uh, track that I'm going to have be recording audio in, which is my guitar track here, and it should now appear as an input in the Easy Bass uh, plugin. So if I go over here, I'm going to set. Uh, sorry, let me. So if I go into the plugin, I have uh, record audio here. So I'm going to hit record audio. I have to set the audio input to audio input one, which is this name here. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, all I then have to do is go back to the beginning here and hit play in Logic and play something. So we've got a little bass line there. Let's have a listen to how it went. Obviously here I'm choosing guitar audio to bass MIDI. Um, I'm going to select all these articulations because I did put some slides and percussive mutes in there. Let's see how we get on. So let's hit play. Not too bad. What's really important here, you can see we have this mix control. Right now it's right in the middle. I have a the audio signal from the guitar mixed with the actual MIDI from the bass. So I'm going to just take this down so we hear just the bass part. <laughs> Well, to me, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we've got the option here maybe of changing the bass sound and uh, having a little play around with that. Let's try this. So, so many options there. And if you are a guitar player, this is a fantastic option, I think, to be able to play bits in on the guitar and then have them converted into a bass part straight away. I uh, really love this feature. I'm now going to just try this with a drum part so we can see how well that works. So I'm going to just create a new session here. Discard that, we don't want that session. So what I've done here, I've just loaded up Easy Drummer and loaded in an 8-bar groove. Let's close that and let's get this set to cycle. Now bring back Easy Bass, get ready to record. Okay, it should get a 2-bar count in and then I am ready to go. So hit that there, hit play. Okay, we're now back at the beginning and let's just hear how that sounds completely with the drum track. I think that sounds pretty fantastic, really impressed with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but that is the audio to MIDI conversion 
within Site Easy Bass so many other potential options for this, such as playing in your own rhythmic parts, and I will do a demo on that very, very soon. I've been Brucey. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.